hi friends uh, welcome to the cruise biology and in this video tutorial uh, we are going to discuss about the ip3 dag pathway this is the very important pathway in the cell signaling so you have to remember this pathway let's begin how the ip3 and dag pathway is operated let's start it with the hormonal level so first of all hormone bind to their specific receptor on the plasma membrane and activation of the g protein couple receptors activation of the g protein couple receptor by the gtp exchange instead of the gdp when the gtp bind to the alpha subunit of the g protein there is beta and gamma subunit released and gtp along with the g alpha subunit that activates the phospholipase c and this phospholipase c cleaves the pip2 that is phosphatidyl inositol 45 bisphosphate into ip3 that is inositol triphosphate and dag that is diacyl glycerol then ip3 bind to the receptor on the er membrane and releasing the ca plus 2 from the er to the cytosol and there is also dag molecule presence on the membrane that is plasma membrane and along with the phospholipase c DAG and the CA plus 2 that is calcium that activates the phospho, uh, protein kinase C at the surface of the plasma membrane and the phosphorylation of the other cellular proteins by protein kinase C and produce the some cellular response to the hormones I hope this video is helpful to you guys thank you